Good afternoon, uh, Captain Hymas, and I'm here with our uh, lead investigative team. On Friday, September 20th, at approximately 9.53 p.m., Sheriff's uh, deputies were dispatched to the Shoboya Yard, located at 2240 South 7th Street in San Jose. This is a bus yard operated by Valley Transportation Authority, also known as VTA. Although the yard is in the city of San Jose, uh, all law enforcement services for VTA properties are handled by the Sheriff's Office. San Jose Police Department and Sheriff's deputies uh, arrived on scene and located the victim near his vehicle in the employee parking lot suffering from gunshot wounds. Emergency medical personnel attempted life-saving measures and ultimately declared the victim deceased at the scene. Based on the circumstances, the Sheriff's Office homicide team was called out to continue the investigation. From the moment the detectives were notified, they worked the case nonstop, following every lead, collecting as much di digital and physical evidence, and performing several interviews in an attempt to locate the suspect. Their efforts led us to identify a person of interest, Doug Bui. What we learned was the following. Both victim and suspect were VTA employees. They were both employed as bus drivers and assigned to the Shoboya Yard. They were known to participate in the same activities outside of the VTA employment. And most importantly, although this investigation is still ongoing, we believe the motive had to do with money owed between the two from their betting activities, which had nothing to do with their employment. By Saturday night, detectives had identified Mr. Bowie as a suspect and began establishing surveillance at his residence. On Sunday, shortly after noon, sheriff's deputies observed the suspect leaving his residence. Mr. Bowie was detained. Uh, he was cooperative and he was transported to the sheriff's office to be interviewed. He was later booked into the Santa Clara County Main Jail for murder. It was approximately 38 hours from the time the incident occurred to the time the sheriff's office detectives made the arrest. And the swift outcome would not have been made possible without the outstanding work by the sheriff's office detectives. Um, they worked tirelessly around the clock following every lead to identify and arrest the person responsible for the victim's death. We do believe this is an isolated incident and we are confident Duck Bowie is responsible for the murder. We have a long road ahead of us to continue to process digital, physical, and forensic evidence as well as following up with additional interviews. At this time, I would like to introduce Captain Jose Cardoza who oversees our Transit Patrol Division and can provide you some information on the Transit Patrol. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, first and foremost, our thoughts and our prayers go out to our VTA partners, the entire VTA workforce, and the victim's family as a result of this senseless act of violence. The Sheriff's Office provides contracted law enforcement services for the VTA system. We utilize TSA and DHS best practices for providing visibility, response, and investigative services for the entire VTA public transit system. On Friday, September 20th at approximately 9.53 p.m., our deputies responded to a call for service at the VTA Shibuya Yard located on 7th Street in the city of San Jose. Uh, initially, there was a report of an adult male who had suffered at least one gunshot wound. Due to the yard being within the city of San Jose, San Jose police officers arrived on scene first and began to gather information. Members of the San Jose Fire Department County EMS had also arrived on scene and had declared the male victim deceased. A homicide investigation ensued and our sheriff's office investigators led the investigation. Given the nature of the incident uh, and to provide the necessary safety and security for the ridership and to VTA employees, our sheriff's transit division immediately assembled a patrol safety plan to increase law enforcement footprint throughout the VTA system. Some of the uh, specifics include uh, increased presence at all VTA yards and administrative offices. Within the first 12 hours alone, we requested additional deputies from our other patrol divisions to include headquarters and West Valley contract cities to supplement our immediate needs on the, on the VTA system. We also deployed temporary fixed marked sheriff's deputies at VTA yards, and we worked with investigations to understand the circumstances of the incident to decide and to assess if additional uh, resources were needed. 
Lastly, we worked on a staffing plan that added deputies to the division for the foreseeable future. In closing, we continue to provide support for the VTA workforce. Part of that includes ongoing discussions with the VTA safety, security, and emergency planning teams to assess and respond to the needs and concerns for all VTA employees. Our Sheriff's Transit teams remain committed to the safety and security of all VTA workshop workforce and the ridership. At this time, I'd like to introduce and welcome uh, Sheriff Johnson to the podium. Good afternoon, Bob Johnson, Sheriff for Santa Clara County. You know, from the moment our deputies were dispatched to the location, uh, the, the VTA employees in the community was our number one priority and it remains our priority. This was a senseless crime without question. And while it was an isolated targeted event, we recognize the profound uh, impact it has had on all of us. One, our thoughts are with the victim's family and the VTA community uh, during this difficult time. And as you've heard, we will do everything we can to ensure that there is stabilization in the environment that they work in and they feel comfortable and safe. You know, it's not lost on us that this incident brings back the memories of just a few years ago at another VTA yard where nine employees lost their lives. That still resonates with all of us and still impacts us each and every day. So we will continue to work with our partners to keep these communities in these areas, workplaces safe, because workplace violence is a concern of not only the sheriff's office, but organizations throughout this country. And people need to feel safe when they come to work. You know, our homicide and our crime scene detectives, I have to say, deserve a round of applause because they have literally worked around the clock since the time of their arrival and did not stop until they had this suspect in custody. And that is a testament to their work ethic and their commitment to our communities and ensuring we feel safe. We were, you know, whether I'm at a loss for the right word, but we were grateful that we were able to give the family some peace and comfort before uh, last night's ceremony that the suspect had actually been arrested because that is something that every family of victims of crime have to deal with is that wondering if that individual is still out there. So this is the first piece of justice for the family and our community. We are committed to continuing to work with our VTA partners uh, and our community to keep them safe and their workplace safe. And I look forward to the collaboration in front of us in making sure that anything that we can do to create that environment is actually becoming becomes a reality. So thank you. And with that, I would like to now uh, introduce the VTA CEA, CEO, Carolyn Ganon. Good afternoon. As mentioned, I'm Carolyn Gonot, General Manager, CEO of Santa Clara Valley Transportation Authority. And I'm joined today by VTA Board Chair, Supervisor Cindy Chavez, and San Jose Mayor Matt Mayhan. We will hear from each of us respectively. We will take questions from the podium afterwards after everyone is done speaking. But I'd like to share some brief remarks first. The VTA employees are very resilient and our service continues to be run to the public to make sure they get to where they need to be and we meet their transportation needs. But also the safety, health, and well-being of our VTA employees is our highest priority. After learning of this tragic event, we immediately made grief counselors available to employees and provided access to other resources. VTA leaders, along with the unions, quickly joined our employees on site to lend physical and emotional support. These efforts will continue as long as needed. At this time, we would like to share the name of the victim. Regulus Teotico, or Regis, Regis, was a VTA bus operator. We are fortunate to have him as part of our staff for 10 years. He was a kind, hardworking driver who was well known amongst his colleagues. Regis was father to two teenage children and everyone at VTA extends their deepest condolences to Regis's family and friends. Our safety and security team worked in close partnership with the Sheriff's Office and this collaboration resulted in a suspect being quickly taken into custody. And I do truly want to extend my appreciation to the Sheriff's Department 
in being able to move so quickly. And thank you very, very much. Uh, it means so much to all the employees um, at VTA. Thank you. It's important to note that what affects one of us at VTA affects all of us. In addition to individual grief counseling services, we are working with law enforcement and our security team for an increased presence at all facilities. So now I'm going to turn it over to our board chair, Supervisor Cindy Chavez. First, I wanna start on behalf of the board of VTA to extend to both the family that have lost a loved one and the entire VTA family because this is really a shared loss. VTA is more than just a transportation service. We know it's an essential lifeline for our entire county and we're committed to making sure that our employees are safe and the people who ride our services are safe as well. As Carolyn mentioned, we're redoubling our efforts uh, with our employees by increasing security measures and most importantly, making sure that we're supporting our, our family with the mental health services they need. I wanna take a moment to acknowledge each of the unions that have played a leadership role in supporting their members during this very tough time. ATU, SEIU, IFPTE, and AFSCME. I wanna say a very special thank you to you. The other thing I had a chance to witness um, last night at the vigil was our peer counseling support and that mentoring program that really came out of the tragedies that we had faced many years ago, but seeing the love, compassion, and kindness that our members were showing each other and the support they were pro providing was very, very powerful. Many of the folks who have been part of VTA have been friends for years. They, it's not just them that work there, it's their families that work there. So we are a very, very tight-knit community and this loss is deeply, deeply felt. I also just wanna remind the public that you know, we were rebuilding after the tragic incident of three years ago. And so for many people, this is reliving one of the worst experiences they've ever had in their life. And that's why the mental health services and that's why us really wrapping our arms around each other is so important. I also just wanna thank the community at large. The kindness the community has shown um, as we are moving through this tragedy is very important. On behalf of everyone at VTA, I wanna extend a very sincere gratitude uh, uh, debt of gratitude, or I don't, I don't even know the right way to say it, but to the incredible work of the Sheriff's Department. They were on the job, they didn't stop, and really for so many people who work at VTA and who use our services, knowing that that person was captured made it easier for people to come to work, easier for people to get on that bus, on that light rail train, and I just wanna say how deeply, deeply grateful we all are. I'm now going to turn this over to uh, Mayor Matt Mahan. Thank you, Supervisor. Three years ago, our VTA family experienced the worst tragedy in the history of the agency, arguably worst tragedy in the history of our city. And uh, just three days ago, as the Supervisor mentioned, our VTA family was once again re-traumatized by these terrible events. There really are no words that can adequately express the immense pain and, and suffering I know our workforce is going through of course, the family of the victim. Wanted to be here uh, as a board member and also as the mayor of our city to express my sincerest condolences to the family of Regulus Teotico, to his two children in particular. Uh, this is a life altering moment and there are no words that can adequately express our sorrow and condolence, but our community is here to support you through the difficult road ahead. I wanna thank our law enforcement agencies and just again recognize the level of partnership and collaboration. I know our SJPD units were in a position to respond quickly and get to the scene first and coordinated seamlessly along with SJ uh, Fire and then of course the Sheriff's Office which has done a tremendous job over the last three days of uh, engaging in a swift uh, investigation and apprehending the suspect. And I'm grateful to Sheriff Johnson and his entire team, who I know have had very little sleep over the last 72 hours. I think that level of collaboration and coordination between all of our agencies is exactly what you expect and deserve 
from your government, and we're going to continue to hold ourselves to that high standard. I also want to thank our VTA leadership. Chair Chavez, I know as well, dropped everything over the weekend and has worked closely with CEO Carolyn Bonat to uh, really think first and foremost about our responsibility moving forward, which is to support our workforce as they serve our community. We are going to continue to work extremely closely with our bargaining units, with all of our employees, to make sure that they have the support that they need through this difficult time. We have to support them and invest in their health and their well-being so that they can serve our community. I know that's our board chairs and CEOs commitment, and I just wanted to echo that we're here as the city of San Jose to help VTA in that work in the months and years ahead as we all work to recover from this horrible tragedy. With that, I'll turn it back to the Sheriff's Office. At this time, we will take some questions. We just ask that you raise your hand. I'll call on you. Please identify yourself, what media outlet you are with, and whom you would like to direct your question to. Uh, we'll start here in the middle. Yes, sir. Would you be able to spell the book name for me? Yeah. Thank you. Yes, it's R, the first name, R-E-G-U-L-U-S. The last name, Teotico, T-E-O-T-I-C-O. -E 